I, I finally got a weekend right, and I am so freaking happy! Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon going over the box office predictions of what is it going to be the 26th to the 28th of April and how I did last weekend. How I said, I did pretty and I got all five, technically six right, including number for number one. And here's the thing, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the very, very few to get it because everyone's like, Abigail's getting 15 plus million. Abigail's getting 15 plus million. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, let's talk about these two wide releases. Technically, there's three releases, but I'm not counting the third one. The third one is Boy Kills World. I don't think it's a wide release, so that's why I'm just saying it might be released in very minimal screens. I don't know. So the two I'm talking about is Challengers, as well as Unsung Hero. And the Unsung Hero, if I'm not mistaken, is about an Australian band or a lady our family who sings, Christian band that made their way up in Tennessee. I'm not mistaken. I don't know daily shit about this band, but while I see the movie Thursday night, absolutely. Because like I said, I try to see everything in theaters. The second one is Challengers. Hot take. I'm not the biggest fan of Luca, the guy's last name. Bones and all. Didn't do nothing for me. Call me by your name. Did nothing for me. To me, some of them are just very pretentious. And to me, call me by your name is a little predatorial let's put it that way uh bones and all like i said did nothing for me it was like eh, what a movie so challengers it might look like it's most mainstream but still i i've not seen why people are loving it so much but i haven't seen it so there's that anyway let's talk about last weekend number five was spy x family code white i was thinking five million it was 4.8 i'll take both thumbs up Number four was the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I was thinking seven million. It was eight point nine. So even though I got the um, precision right, I was pretty wrong with the numbers. But it was a pretty solid movie. Number three, I got it right. Godzilla X Kong. I was thinking eight million. It did nine point five. Held a lot better than I thought. Thirty eight percent. So there's that. Number two was Abigail. I said ten million. It was ten point two. I freaking called it. I freaking knew it. People are like, oh, it's going to do so much better. Why would a ballerina vampire movie do good when the last two vampires from Universal Studios could barely crack the 10 million? This barely cracked the 10 million. So I don't know what people were smoking. Number one, of course, was Civil War with 11.1. It dropped a little more than I thought. I was seeing 12.5, but you know what? It was pretty good in the range. Now, here's the thing. I am, again, going against the grain or against the pond with what people are saying. I do have, usually, number two through five is very close together. But this is what I have. Number four, five, I'm going with Abigail with 4.7. All right, I'm going with a little over a 50% drop, like, you know, 55, 56. Monkey Man. I'm thinking it's the same as Monkey Man. Where everyone who saw it already saw it and it's that's it. Won't have the greatest word of mouth. So I think 4.7 is the best bet. What could be number 5 is Ungentlemanly Warfare. But we will see what holds better. Number 4. I'm going with Unsung Hero 5 million. Ordinary Angels didn't do the greatest. The last religious movie that did somewhat good was Jesus Revolution. And that had buzz to it. That, I could feel the want for it. Unsung Hero, I don't know how many people know this band. Maybe I'm just not in the Christian band realm and it could do better. But when looking at movies like this, Arthur the King, like I said, Ordinary Angels, I do think Unsung Hero will be underneath both of those with 5 million. Number 3, Godzilla X Kong 5.9 million. I'm going the exact same 38% drop, and that gets me to the 5.9. So what else do you want me to say about that? I think it's going to have a strong hold. Number two, Civil War, but 6.4. I have a 0.5% difference with these movies. Uh, Civil War, I'm kind of going off of the Godzilla, going off these movies where it has like a, you know, usually 60% drop, then it goes to the 40s. So this is why I'm the same boat as Civil War. So number two, 6.4. Number one, 
Challengers, $15 million. I think I'm going a little too high with this movie. We will see what the Zendaya power is. We will see what this love triangle story can ensue. A strong R1. Let's see if people are into that shenanigans love story. Because I don't remember the last time there's actually been a true love story like this. Recap. Top 5. 5. Abigail 4.7. 4. Unsung Hero 5 million. 3. Godzilla X Kong 5.9. 2. Civil War 6.4. And number 1. Challengers 15.0. I feel pretty good with this one. I truly do. Chase out here the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Blue Topia. You Blue Tony think about your great day. I can watch this take tomorrow, week, round, month, or a year, from every single freaking one of you. Am I right, wrong? Let me know down freaking below.